Hey guys, Cam here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a sponge refillable cartridges of uh, those models. Uh, later I may make a video of uh, 260 and 261, which is a uh, little bit taller than those cartridges. However, the refill procedure, everything is the same. So if I understand this one, you can easily uh, refill 260. Today's video uh, we made for classicalschoolsolutions.com, uh, which they make uh, the traditional school packets and uh, help parents to get their children through their education. Their dilemma is a parent have to print their uh, uh, kids' homework, uh, which is a lot if you print every day. So uh, they asked me to suggest some couple refill uh, choices. So uh, I'm going to shoot a series, series of videos. This is the first one. For 243 and 244, those are, uh, those are starter cartridges. They put in the new, uh, put it with a new printer. Normally those printers are really expensive, like $30. And uh, they are the same as 245 and 246. And they are exactly the same cartridge. The XL is, uh, they have the, a, larger, a larger sponge, so they can put more ink in. So if you find a printer that says can use 244, so you know it can use 245 and can use two, also use 245 XL, those are the same cartridges. Uh, here's a quick reference for how much ink in the Canon cartridge, and uh, including those models and, and more, and uh, I hope it's useful. I also made a link of the printers using those cartridges and where to buy them in this uh, URL. Okay, here's the cartridge. Underneath there are tiny holes called the nozzles. And uh, back here, here's an electric ribbon, which uh, can then put the electricity in it. And uh, the electric electricity heat up the ink in here and uh, create a little bit of uh, create a little bubble. When the bubble burst, you create a little bit droplet, drop on the paper. On top of the nozzles, there's a collection box. Uh, the collection box needs to be filled with ink for nozzles to work. So if you use up oil ink, then you refill it. Most likely, your uh, collection box is still empty because ink cannot get into the get into the box. Uh, to Correct this, you need uh, some kind of suction to suck underneath, and this is also called a priming. On top of the collection box, uh, there's a sponge. The size of sponge decides how much ink can be put in the cartridge. Uh, some people believe cartridge inside cartridge is a sw swimming pool. They just can just fill the whole cartridge with ink. Uh, that's, not, uh, that's not right. The ink is held up by a wet sponge. And uh, if you put too much ink in there, the sponge cannot hold the ink, the ink is going to flow out the cartridge. So uh, today's plan is uh, we're going to replace the sponge with uh, a sponge that's as large as possible. And then we'll fill with ink. We feel a little bit more than what Canon does, but uh, that depends how much the sponge can, can hold. And then we're going to prime the cartridge. You don't have prime every time. Uh, however, the first, for the first time you have empty cartridge, it's, it's a good idea to prime it. Uh, there's a chip in, uh, inside, in the cartridge that remembers how many pages you printed. The printer itself doesn't have an ink gauge or anything to measure the actual ink uh, level in the cartridge. So it's all calculated. And, and also it's a one-way street. For example, the cartridge, if uh, the pitch count is zero, and that means 100% of ink left. For example, if it is 55 pages printed, then it's 50% ink left. This is one way straight. You cannot roll the number back. So if you take a cartridge that print 75 pages, you fill it up, you put it in again, it still shows 50% ink. However, Canon allow you to turn the ink monitor off so you don't monitor any ink level. And that's actually what we want. Uh, however, this function can only be available after you print the maximum amount of pages. 
So you just need to keep printing until one day you will be able to turn the monitor off. I often get questions, uh, oh, I refilled my cartridge, but the ink level is still low. Um, yeah, that, that's because it, that's because uh, this is one-way street. Or uh, people ask me, hey, um, uh, I, I did what you said. I cannot turn the ink monitor off. Oh, that's, that's because your, your ink level didn't reach 0%. You have run it all the way down to zero. Then you can press a button, which is the stop, stop button on the printer, to turn the monitor off. You, you cannot reset the cartridge. You, what you can do is turn off the ink tracking. Okay, we have group cartridges. Um, those are empty cartridges that I bought from eBay. Uh, when you go to eBay, you can search for 243 empty, or you can see 243 virgin. Virgin means it's never been refilled before. Or you may have cartridges left from your starter cartridge. Uh, for the cartridge set, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to printer modifications, Canon. And uh, CBC245 is the one we're going to use today. If you have a 260 card, like a PJ260-261, you can get a CBC260. So today we're going to use a CBC245. Okay, the first step, uh, you need a really sharp, really steady knife. You can re use a really sharp kitchen knife too. You see this edge? Okay, I need to cut in here. So first section as is, I need to cut it in. And uh, this only sharp knife can do it. Then I have to pry it open. The best way is to put it on the edge of a table so you can go up and down and with your hand. So I found this seam and uh, just start putting my hand in. You can see it's already open. So next next one, you, you can just get, get the pride open. With this knife, very easy. If you have a knife that's not uh, as sturdy as this one, such as a box cutter, you can just use a, use a screwdriver to help you to pry it open. This is a 243. I'm going to cut open a 245 and show you they're the same cartridge. Okay, 243, 245. And also notice how thick the cover is. It's because uh, can of make this cover really thick so it can take the uh, space for the for the sponge so you have a really thin thin sponge okay let's open up a 245 XL okay. see how thin the cover is compared to compared to other two see 245 XL this is the sponge for the XL and uh, this is the sponge for a regular cartridge. Okay, same cartridge, just different size of sponges. Remember the collection box I told you about? Here's the filter, and underneath the filter is the collection box. Make sure to not puncture that filter. If you puncture it, the cartridge is going to uh, get the clock really easily. Okay, time to bring out the, the modification kit. Uh, this is a CPC245, and uh, you can see it has a glass case, and uh, the top cover will be built in, and inside that there's a sponge already filled with ink. So you don't need to buy ink, you don't need to buy anything, everything's ready. Tear off the label, and it's ready to go. On the top, there's a refill hole, and uh, you just slide it in, and bam, the black one is done. Oh, by the way, this thing doesn't go all the way in. There will be a gap between the top cover and the base. You can see there's a distance between the cover and the base. Don't worry, don't worry about it, because uh, let me show you. If you have the original one set to side, 
the original original one also has a space between the, the top cover and the base. It is part. So you just sit on top of it and it's all done. Now we work on the color one. Uh, you can see the regular cartridge also have this really thick cover. It's just ridiculous <laughs> to realize you pay $30 for this much of ink. Now it's time to bring out our color mod kit. I forgot to show you the Excel version. The, the cover will be a lot, of, a lot thinner and the sponge will be a lot larger. See how thin the Excel cover is and how thick the regular, the regular one is. And the can actually give you a little bit more ink. So basically, by using a mod kit, you convert any cartridge into an XL cartridge. So for the color, for the magenta, I tilt the top off. For the magenta, make sure that, see, your sponge is on the bottom and that the sponge is on the bottom. So make sure you do it this way, not the, the other way. Okay. And also, you need these three tabs in the front. Uh, there's nothing to glue, and uh, if you if your cartridge is bad, eventually you can just take it out and uh, transfer to another set of cartridges. Now it's time to prime those cartridges. There are two ways. One way is you just uh, it's pretty simple. You just put it on a paper towel and uh, hold it like this, and get the house vacuum. Turn the vacuum on, then the vacuum hose on and just suck a little bit, just tap it, tap it, suck until you get enough ink coming out from the bottom. That means the little box is filled with ink. Another way you can do is uh, get a priming clip. Uh, if you need one, you can go to bchtechnologies.com, go to accessories, and the priming clip and syringe. And you can see uh, those are 243, 44. And uh, if you got a taller one, here's uh, 240, 241, or 260, 261. You're gonna get one of the one of the black clips, and you're gonna get two pads. So the two pads, the difference is one is shorter, one is longer. The longer one is for the black. Take your cartridge, push it in. You're going to use a syringe, just suck the ink until you see the ink coming out. See, the ink is not coming out yet. So if the ink is not coming out, for example, this one, this one is from eBay, so we don't know how long, uh, how long it has been set in somebody's garage. You can take a bowl, just uh, fill with a little bit of water and then microwave it for one minute, then you're going to see the water totally boiling. So we want really, really hot boiling water. So put it here and just put it down there for like a, like a five, 10 minutes. And let's work on the color one when we wait for that one. So when you dab on the paper towel, you can see there's a lot there's a complete line of black. That means black is already unclogged. And uh, now we can work on the black. Mm, okay, good. And normally you don't need to do this because you have a fresh cartridge. Like me, um, buying those on eBay, you have no idea. Actually, this already unclogged. You can see you got all three colors when you dab on it. Just in case, oh, I know why. Uh, I was using the black priming clip on the color. That's why I didn't get any ink. So actually the, the color didn't need to be primed. Anyway, the, it doesn't hurt. You can see there's plenty of ink coming out. That's good. Uh, some people said do not wipe the nozzle. I'm a wiper. So uh, you, you, you take choice, you want to do it or not. Okay, here's a quick quiz. If we put those two in, they are right now filled with ink. So what's the ink level will be? 
uh, the answer is it's going to show low ink. The ink light will be steady and amber. That means you get a uh, 10% of ink left. To check our, the quality of our project, so we go to the printer, go to printer preferences, go to maintenance, go to nozzle check, print check pattern. Uh, there is nothing you can do uh, to turn this low ink off. You just have to keep printing because you know physically it has enough ink. And you have to print until you get an error message. And this is a check pattern. You can see black gets some uh, pretty serious uh, clogging issue here. And uh, the cyan and uh, yellow, they all, they all need to be primed. I put uh, the black back to the hot water again. Uh, it is it's going to make the the pores of uh, nozzle open up a little bit, so I can I can effectively suck. For the color, I'm not, I'm gonna is it probably caused by the air air bubbles, so I'm not going to do soak it. You can because you can see the color can print the whole bar, uh, can print the whole bar here. The each one can print the whole whole bar. What is missing is the second bar. So that's more like a, so the, so so that's not a really a clogging problem. The hard clog, that's not a hard clog. So I'm going to just just going to uh, prime it, prime the color. I remember a little bit more ink than last time. I don't forget black and the color they use in different pads. Now it's perfect. Now the Canon's ink monitor will not show the accurate ink level, so we have to monitor the ink level ourselves. So what we do is uh, we take a whole rainbow, whole rainbow paper, and we're going to divide the paper in roughly half. This is about how much the Excel cartridge can print. So if we print to 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 here. We'll take the cartridge out and uh, refill all the colors. And now you can go to your favorite Chinese restaurant and tell them you can print the menu for them. And you get a free dish. As I said, the ink level will still low. You're gonna see the estimate ink level is almost zero. So you get two exclamation marks on top of, the, uh, top of each cartridge. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to run your printer until you reach the zero ink level. Okay, now we get a black and a hazard light blinking together. If you, saw, if you see it on the computer, it's going to show support code 1688. The following ink has run out black. So this is a time to reset the uh, the turn off the ink monitor for the black cartridge. If you see the ink monitor, so it has a red cross on the black. Do not close this window. Now go to the printer. What model of printer you have, you're going to have this stop button. So just press and hold this stop button. Press and hold until you hear a click. You're going to see the, you're going to hear a click, then printer back to work. And from then on, the black ink will be blinking. That means the ink monitor is off. So now you can see the black monitor is off. So there's no more yellow exclamation mark. Uh, the black is grayed out. So you can just keep printing until, until the color can be turned off. If you put another set of cartridges in, the ink monitor will be reactivated. So if you want to swipe back your cartridge, you have to turn the monitor off one more time. 
So we're about halfway mark of the printing. Uh, we're going to refill the cartridge now uh, because right now the ink box is full. Uh, so we don't have to prime it if we refill it right now. Okay, uh, what ink to use? Uh, you guys heard uh, the story about, uh, uh, you guys know the difference between pigment ink and the dye ink. Um, the black cartridge is supposed to be pigment cartridge. However, it is very safe just converted to a dye cartridge. Um, so I'm just going to use dye ink. Uh, I recommend is go to bchtechnology.com and ink printer, refill ink for Epson, and uh, just click all dye ink. So uh, you can pick any, almost any ink here. Uh, you, uh, if you need black, you can get a three fill of uh, those blacks uh, in smaller package. And uh, I recommend this package, which have lots of ink on page three, and we'll hide it really well. Get this full color. Um, each bottle is 100 ml. So those little bottles, there are 30 ml each. So this big bottle, one big bottle is equal to three little bottles. So you get three blacks and uh, one of each colors. So let's say you have 100 ml of uh, one color, let's say cyan. And uh, if you know, uh, each time you only use 4 ml of cyan. So in this one bottle, you get 25 refills out of one single bottle. Uh, I'm going to use this, uh, this squeezy bottle first. So I'm when I drop on it, and I just pay attention, say you forget to absorb right away. Oh, sorry, squirt too, too much. Yeah, now you can see it's uh, too much. Yeah. That's one way of doing it. Because this is filled with uh, ink, uh, I didn't deplete the ink. Uh, I'm not going to prime it unless they print the uh, missing lines. Uh, I'm going to fill that different ways. So, so if you bought this kit, you got a you got a syringe and needles. I'm just going to put uh, the ink in the middle. Right. Uh, if you check the link that I provide under the comments, so about 4 mil is the max. Uh, you need to be patient. You don't need to push push it down, just do it slowly. Uh, you can see the ink is already well out. So that's, uh, so I did uh, how much? 4.5, had one left. So I did a 3.5. The number is not always the same because it really depends on how much ink la still left in that chamber. So you can see there are many, many ways to get this sponge wet. As long as you get it wet, and when you're holding it, it's not dripping ink, you're good. Oh, by the way, if you get this, just click Start Printing. You don't need uh, the print alignment at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do enjoy my free lunch. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!